everyone. Hate starting to show off on a sad note. Yeah, we've had a few more um, famous folks that have passed away, unfortunately. This lovely lady right here, actress Jane Meadows. Now, she lived a good long life, thankfully. Born September 27th. I always thought it was 1920, but now they say 1919. You know how actors and actresses always change their birthdays. Well, yeah, so Jane Meadows, born September 27th, 1919, passed away August 26th at the ripe old age of 95, lived a good long life. Um, just many actors, TV shows over the years, game show panelists. Jane Meadows, an absolute legend and very, very funny sense of humor as well. She's going to be sorely missed, no doubt about that. Um, our next one, where's my wrestling fans at? This guy was an absolute icon in wrestling back in the uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and all the way up until he retired. I think he retired in like 1981, if I'm not mistaken. Vern Gagne. Vern Gagne, an absolute legend badass from Minnesota, born February 26, 1926. Passed away at the age of 89. It was a good long life, unfortunately. Um... Suffered from years from Alzheimer's and all kinds of stuff. In fact, he once actually killed a 97-year-old man in the hospital in early 2009. But um, they determined that he was just so out of it and uh, just mentally gone. Very sad. Um, very sad demise to an absolutely phenomenal class act all the way. World-class Hall of Fame wrestler, Vern Gagne. If you ain't heard the name Vern Gagne, you're not a true wrestling fan. So definitely rest in peace to him. And then one I just read today... A very sad one because this lovely young lady passed away much too young. Now, that's not her now. This was her in 1970 to 74. Of course, she was Tracy Partridge in that classic TV show, The Partridge Family, which was loosely based off of the famous late 60s family band, The Cow Sills. I know, my parents have their albums, and actually I have their music too. So, um, Of course, we're talking about Suzanne um, Crow, C-R-O-U-G-H. Suzanne Crow. Um, she was born March 6, 1963, and she just passed away suddenly um, last night, actually, at home at the age of 52. So much too young, no no cause of death known as of now, but um, I don't think it was drugs because she had a successful career going on, not in the movies anymore, but um, she was a manager or something like that, uh, family, <coughs> family woe man. A lot of good stuff, but Suzanne Crow, definitely a tragic death there. 52 years old. Folks, that's much too young to die. So a moment of silence, please, for these uh, three late great actors and actresses. Definitely much deserved. All righty, folks. Well, you know we're not going to have the show on a sad note because that is not my style. And away we go. Beer, beer, beer. beer. Yeah. Beer, Hello, everyone. Beer, beer, it is indeed Tuesday, April 28th in the year of our Lord 2050. How are you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's two for Tuesday. You know what that means, right? That means you're going to get two babes, two hunks, two songs, two trivia questions, um, two beers. Two instruments of the day, two vehicles of the day, and of course, a whole lot of fun. Well, today's unofficial sponsors of our show. I'll bring out the first one, and then I'm going to bring out the other one, because they've got a birthday today. Let's bring out my good friend, uh, Chanda Christensen. Chanda Christensen, owner-operator of Apricity. She makes all kinds of unique um, trinkets and crafts and lots of really, really cool stuff. Do a Google search for Apricity. You're going to find her, Shanda Christensen, an amazing young lady. And uh, there's her contact information. Hit her up. She'll make you some crafts, too. She's on Etsy. Etsy.com. E-T-S-Y.com. Apricity. Look for it. Shanda Christensen. 
miss working with what we did down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Oklahoma, pretty much the same damn state. But I'm so proud of you and glad that things are going well. Well, folks, we have a little bit of a British day today. Eh? You know why? Why not, mate? Anyway, um, so I'm bringing out the uh, Cambridge Beer Festival beer consumption apparatus that I got in 2009 when I was in Cambridge, England, enjoying that beer festival. Here's what we haven't had in a while. Justin Sent. Justin Sent. A badass, hard-working man, a gem of a man that I know from exotic... Oh, what the hell? I don't know. Good God. Exotic Japan, right? If I remember correctly. Justin, always great hearing from you. You had a beer request. You wanted to see me drink something on beer and song that day? Well, fig and A. Let's make it happen. Per your request, bringing out the beast, the old speckled hen, Moreland, 1751. Now, this is actually brewed in um, Bury St. Edmunds, United Kingdom. That's right. I know I've been to that city many, 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 many times. I lived not too far from there, actually. Brewed in, in uh, Bury St. Edmunds, Moreland Brewing Company, uh, Westgate Street, Bury St. Edmunds, Suffolk, United Kingdom. 5% alcohol by volume. Normal strength beer. There we go. The old speckled hen, prop opening apparatus, prop technique, here we go. I haven't had this stuff since I lived in jolly old England. So, we'll see. 45 to grand, right into the big assumption apparatus, right off the keyboard, because I'm sad, damn, gonna have a spill drop yet, never have, never will. Cheers and beers to all of you, pros, they say in Germany, goodbye, they say in Japan. I know, an English pint glass. In an American sized bottle. Man, what are you gonna do? That's a good ale right there. Yep. Might be the best beer they have in um, Bury St. Edmunds, in my opinion. This gets a big solid B on the Love Doctor scale of beerosity. There we go. B. Good. Mmm. Alright. Well. Time for a plethora of birthdays. We got a lot of them, so let's get cracking. And right off the bat, we've got one of our unofficial sponsors, a very dear friend of mine, my good friend, Jessica Dickinson, of course. She is a sensey girl, Jessica Dickinson, independent sensey consultant. Folks, if you want sensey done right, you get it from her. Trust me, I know. We've made some purchases from, from you, huh, Jess? Well, Jess, happy birthday to you, and how are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I know you're on vacation visiting the family right now. Awesome stuff. You're missing out on some good British weather today. Nice and cool. Gray. Reminds me of when I lived in jolly old England. Ah, right, you're moving to good old South Korea. Hell yeah. But, uh, Jess, happy birthday, my friend. And, uh, folks, please take a moment. Follow this page. She needs 15 more likes to get to 200. Come on. Got to get to the 200. Got to make it happen. She deserves it. She's earned it. She's a sweetheart. She's a very good friend of mine. Oh, and by the way, a former two-time real baby of the day on Baron Song of the Day, Fig and A. Jessica Dickinson, my friend. Hope Seth is spoiling you well and spoiling you rotten. He should be. I think he is. I got a hunch. Cheers and bears to you, my friend, and have a wicked awesome day. And hey. Celebrate well and enjoy. Mm. All right. Next on the list. Milestone birthday to a good friend of mine I've known for over 20... I've known him over 30 years. My man Wayne Jackson. In fact, folks, the next four birthdays, they're all born the exact same month, day, and year. How awesome is that? Wicked awesome. Wicked awesome. That's right. Well, my man Wayne Jackson... Final out saying graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993. That's right. Wayne Jackson, what's going on, brother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always great hearing from you. Milestone birthday. Hot damn awesome stuff. The pride of Edgartown, Massachusetts. Martha's Vineyard Island, greatest island in the world. Greatest state in the nation. Massachusetts. Without Massachusetts, they wouldn't be in America. Period. Dot. End of freaking story. Wayne, always great hearing from you, my friend. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Mm. Next on the list. That's right. She was born in the exact same month, 18 years. My good friend, Wayne Jackson. 
I'm talking about you, Missy Kanoyer, an absolute sweetheart of a lady that I've known for over 30 years as well. In fact, she's from the greatest town in the world, Vinnie Haven, Massachusetts. That's right. You know it. That's the best town. Sorry, Wayne. Eggertown's good. Vinnie Haven's the best. And uh, Missy was with us. February 11th, 2013, Wharf Restaurant and Pub, Eggertown, Massachusetts. She was on Beer and Song of the Day as one of our many guest co-hosts and co-hostesses. That was an absolute party. And Missy, it's always a pleasure hearing from you, my friend. And happy birthday, happy milestone birthday. You look the same now as you did when you graduated high school. That's insane. Find out saying graduate Monson Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993. Hell yeah! Missy, my friend, happy milestone birthday. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. Next on the list, my good friend, Mr. Dan Vaughn. You know, I, I, Dan, I haven't heard from you in a while. And you're a fine outstanding graduate of Monson Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993 as well, along with Missy and Wayne. And Dan Vaughn, I haven't heard from you in a while. Dude, drop me a line, let me know how you're doing. Happy milestone birthday to you. So you're like, I'd forget your birthday. Come on. And I remember in high school, you were like, that's Mr. Dan Vaughn. I don't know where that came from. You probably don't even remember it. But, uh, <clears throat> squeeze me. I, I'll always remember now, Mr. Dan Vaughn. Hell yeah, brother. Maybe it was something when we signed our library books. Because remember, I always signed them out, um, Reverend Dr. Joshua S. Baker, Esquire Emeritus. That's right. I sure did in high school. Sign out my library books that way. I think that's where you were like, I'm just Mr. Because we had Dr. Wilson, of course, you know, the librarian. He was actually Mr. Wilson, but I called him Doctor. I upgraded him. But anyway, um, Enough of that rant. Dan the man, love to hear from you. Drive me line. Happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers the beers. Another pride of Eggertown, Massachusetts. Good town. Next on the list. Yep, she was born the same exact month, day and year as my other three friends. And I'm talking about an absolute sweetheart of a lady from good old Minnesota. My good friend, Melissa Bratch. B-R-A-T-S-C-H. She ain't no brat, though, but she is beautiful. She's ultra cool, and she's a wicked, hardcore, legit, no bull Minnesota Vikings fan. Skull power! Yeah, you know that saying. That's right, crushing skulls, old Norse word. Melissa, happy milestone birthday to you. Always great hearing from you. You're ultra cool, badass, and totally may shorten you need. French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, get it then, dude. You got to get so long to our neighbors up north, and you're just below it, damn, Melissa. Well, hey, you a Minnesota Wild fan? How about that? They get to play the Chicago Blackhawks. That's going to be a battle. Um, Minnesota Twins, hey, they'll get back to business. But anyway, Melissa, happy milestone birthday. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. Next on the list. Now, I don't have her on the old Facebook, and I don't even think she is on the old Facebook. I knew her as Michelle Malcaroon. Then she got married. Michelle Dwight. I haven't heard from her in years. I don't think she's married anymore. But all I know is I've never forgotten her because she's a fine arts and graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1991. The best and graduating class in history. Mankind, womankind, and that kind. Michelle Malcaroon, happy birthday. I don't need Facebook to remember your birthday. I've had it memorized since the day I met you. First day of uh, high school in 1987. That's right. And Michelle... Love to hear from you. Drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And then this great man. Now, Michelle's from Oak Bluffs, Massachusetts. Now, how about Brian Robinson? He's from Eggertown, Massachusetts. And he's a final same graduate of Monsters Vineyard Beach High School, class of 1991 as well. The best one ever. I know. I was there. And uh, Brian Robinson. Another one I don't have on the old Facebook. I don't think you're on there. If you are, dude, add me. Love to hear from you. Let me know how you're doing. Miss the hell out of you. Always a good guy. And Brian Robinson, happy birthday. Hope you have a good awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers. Next on the list would be my good friend, Chris Earl. Chris Earl. A badass mafioso. The old Mafia Wars. A lot of fun on there. We get on there. We ice fools. We crush skulls. It's a lot of fun. Great way to get rid of the pent-up frustration. Chris Earl, happy birthday, my friend. And hey, I'll be on there icing fools with you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Mm. Next on the list, my good friend, Felipe Martinez. Felipe, another fellow mafioso on the old Mafia Wars. 
Lots of fun on there. We have a blast on there. We help each other out because teamwork makes the dream work. We get stronger. Why? So that we can crush the opposition. It's a lot of fun, but nobody gets hurt for real. But anyway, I hope you have a wicked awesome day. And celebrate well and enjoy. And cheers and beers. Ah, next on the list. Now this great man is an outstanding man. This great man is a fine outstanding graduate of Martha's Vineyard Reach High School class of night. Oh, God. I want to say 19... God, was it 1989, 90? I can't remember. But I've never forgotten you, Greg Packish. Never forgot your birthday either. Greg Packish, <laughs> brother, happy birthday to you. And how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while either. Love to hear from you. So hey, drop me a line. Let me know how life's treating you. Greg Packish, a great man indeed. No doubt about it. And brother, happy birthday. Hope you all have an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and bears. All right. Next on the list, the final, no, yeah, final birthday of the day goes to my good friend Charles McConnor. Charles McConnor, a more recent addition to the Mafia Wars crew, but this guy is absolutely phenomenal. He's like me. We love good music, and uh, we help each other out every day on Beer and, on, uh, beer and Song of the Day, now, on the old Mafia Wars. But hey, Charles, you can always help me out on Beer and Song of the Day as well, you know. Hey, I always want fan requests. But Charles McConnor, happy birthday, my friend. And I know you're doing well. You're always doing well. You're a great man. And brother, I love your inspirational posts all the time. And uh, we need more people like you in the world. Charles McConnor, happy birthday. Cheers and beers, my friend. Mm. All right. Wedding anniversary time. That's right. My good friend, Tasha Blackburn, a phenomenal photographer. <clears throat> um... She and her awesome husband, Josh, great name right there, I might add, they are married for four years today. Well, hot damn, happy anniversary to the two of you. Four down, at least 68 to go, so you can catch up to my grandparents, 72 years. <coughs> and uh, happy anniversary to you, Josh and Tasha. And uh, I hope you have a wicked awesome day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy, and by golly, make every day like an anniversary, okay? Take it from the love doctor. I know what I'm talking about, okay? Mm. All right. So with that said, and bear with me, folks. I've had eight hours of sleep in the past two days. I'm pretty damn tired. Let's get to the trivia questions. And, uh, folks, these uh, the first one was submitted by our good friend Justin Dimmitt of Prosper. Of course. Live long and prosper. Facebook.com slash LLA Prosper. Go there. Follow it. Like the page. Spread the word to others. Let's get him to 300 likes. Phenomenal show. He created the Baird Song of the Day Facebook page, okay? Without him, we wouldn't have a Facebook page. Justin Dimmitt, you rock, brother. Anyway, let's get to the trivia question. Benjamin Sisko didn't always look the way he did in this picture, nor did he start out as a captain. In what order did things <coughs> excuse me, change for Cisco to get to here? Folks, I should have put the picture <coughs> excuse me, should have put the picture on the phone, but anyway, go to the Baron Song Day Facebook page if you want to see the picture, okay? There you go. Um, bonus points if you can name the episodes in which the changes first appeared. Well, um, our good friend Rob Marshall, he, he gave it a shot. Not quite, buddy. Not quite. This was the answer. Um, he grew his beard first in the episode Explorers, was promoted to captain in The Adversary, and then appeared with a shaved head in The Way of the Warrior. R Rob Marshall, good sh good try. You say he was clean shaven as a commander. Awesome stash and goatee beard once he made captain. But, hey, we were looking for the shaved head too, man. Okay? So... It's all right, though. Screw it. Let's drink anyway. Our other trivia question. The legendary Jay Leno once did many TV commercials for a popular snack. What snack is that? Well, it's my personal favorite snack growing up, and I still love them today. Uh, Rob Marshall, you chimed in first and foremost on this one. 
So I guess you were going with both, and eh? she only answered one, but it's all good. You said Doritos. Well, hot diggity dog damn, brother. You nailed it. Wicked awesome job. Hey, big. Yeah, I've got to salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. Rob Marshall, big fan of the Baron Song of the Day, a great leader of men, women, and it's, and living in Florida, the land of the old people, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. I mean, Southern Georgia. Boy, I screwed that up. But Rob, you're way too young to be living in Florida. Seriously. But anyway... So, not like I said, my favorite snack was actually Cool Ranch Doritos, and I still love them to this day. Delilah, don't you love uh, Cool Ranch Doritos? Huh? Do you love Cool Ranch Doritos? Yes. How awesome are they? We can also they sure are. You got that right. All right, well, folks, I got one more shout out I got to give to an absolute sweetheart of a lady. Wherever she goes, the morale improves, and everybody feels better about themselves. And I'm talking about you, Ashley Lindsay. Ashley Lindsay, what a pleasure, a privilege, and an honor working with blessings in the world like you. Where do they grow you? I need to go there. Ashley, we need more people like you in the world. Be fruitful and multiply. Have a litter of kids, will you? Like about 30 of them. It'll make the world a better place, just saying. But anyway, I know you got a few kids, and thank God for that. And thank God for people like you, because I'll tell you, Without you, the world wouldn't be as awesome as it is. Ashley, I just want to say, I'm going to give you the love, Dr. Salute. Oh, hell yeah! Because like Smith Barney, you made it the old-fashioned way. You earned it. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. Uh-oh. Empty the brain cells of an average uh, New York Jets fan. Got a cure for that. Time to bring out one of my all-time favorite beers ever. This one's from Bedford, United Kingdom. That's right, Bedford, England. Oh, you know I love it. It's a mouthgasm. Young's Double Chocolate Stout. 5.2% of absolute, absolute exquisite wicked awesomeness. Folks, this is one of the greatest beers in history. One of my all-time personal favorites. Proper building apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. And, of course, as always... Oh, 45 degree angle right in the big assumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm that damn good. Have a spell drop yet? Never have, never will. Folks, this beer is like taking a chocolate bar and melting it in the beer. It's that damn good. Seriously. Oh, good God. I'm excited already. Cheers the best all of you pussies. They say Germany pies They say in Japan. Oh, God. A plus all the way. Unquestionably. Oh, then it's magically delicious. Well, speaking of magically delicious, the love goddess is in her kitchen creating magic. What's she making for tonight? Something that she's never made before. It's called cowboy casserole. Yeehaw! I mean, hell, after all, we're on, we are in Yeehaw, Texas, other way known as West Louisiana. Same state, pretty much. But anyway, I digress. Let's get cracking. It's time to bring out today's vehicles of the day. And then we're going to bring out today's instruments of the day. Then we're going to bring out some hunks and babes to you. Some more music. And uh, celebrity birthdays. Lots of fun. Folks, this man is 65 years old today. He's a senior citizen. The guy's an icon. He's a legend. And he also, his automobiles I drool over. This is Jay Leno's 1905 Stanley Steam car. I believe it's a Stanley Steamer. Jay Leno, 65 years old today. And look at that vehicle of the day. That's his. 1905 Stanley Steam car. That, my friends, wow. And not only does he just, you know, he drives them too. And that is a 1908 white steam car. So he's got some old steamers. That is Freaking amazing. Beautiful vehicles of the day are bearing song of the day. Big and A. Oh, yes. Now it's time to bring out some instruments of the day. And I wanted to go with stuff that was really unique. I mean, hell, those cars are pretty unique. So why not go with some musical instruments that are unique as well? So let's bring out... Hey, you've always heard the term one-man band, right? Well, this guy truly is a one-man band. Bear with me. Got to find it. This guy's name is Philippe Batel. <coughs> B-A-T-A-I-L-L-E. <coughs> Philippe Batel. It's French. And it, this is called a sym symphonium. 
or symphony. <coughs> excuse me. Sim. S Y M P H O I. Oh, P H O N I U M. Oh my God! And I'm I'm like a spelling genius, and I almost butchered it. S Y M. P H O N I U M. Philippe. Um, Batel's Symphonium. That truly is a one-man band right there. That is an epic instrument of the day. How cool is that? Wicked cool. Look at that, Delilah. He's a one-man band. Wow. Wow, yeah, you got that right. Pretty neat, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's bring out the other one. Now, this one's from Africa, and it's 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 a percussion instrument. It's called the uh, ca ca Cajon. <laughs> Not cajones, folks. Come on. The cajon. C-A-J-O-N. I think it's cajon. Could be cajon? Uh, cajon? Who knows? Cajon. Cajon. I think it's cajon. But it's just a percussion instrument. A little flat box there. A little boop, 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 I don't know. But anyway, never heard it. Love to hear it. Looks like a pretty cool instrument. Looks pretty simple. So he's jamming out. He's having fun. And that's all that matters. If you ain't having fun, you ain't living. I'd rather be living than dying, folks. Remember that. All right. Well, folks, it is time to bring out our first hug of the day, our beer and song of the day, Big and A. And uh, I will show them off as I bring out the celebrity birthdays for today. Let's do this. Just like Nike. Just do it. Hey, you already know who it is. Even as a little young man, he had that big, famous Jay Leno chin. Because that's little mini Jay Leno right there. That's Jay Leno, born April 28, 1950. He's 65 years old today. He's a senior citizen. And he's a phenomenal comedian. Did a great job as tonight host, tonight show host. I mean, he took over for an icon. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson was amazing. Jay Leno was amazing. Jimmy Fallon's been amazing. I got to give him that. He's been phenomenal. But anyway, so let's talk more celebrity birthdays. We got Anne Margaret, of course. Uh, Anne Margaret, we love her. Um, Anne Margaret is 74 years old today. Look at a young Jay Leno there. Uh, too short, rapper, too short. He's 49 years old today. James Monroe, well, who's that Reverend Dr. B? Fifth President of the United States of America, James Monroe, born in the state in 1758, passed away July 4th, 1831. Harper Lee, folks, if you ain't ever seen To Kill a Mockingbird, well, you ain't read the book, you've cheated yourselves. Uh, Harper Lee, the author of To Kill a Mockingbird, she's 89 years old today. Um, Violent J, now I'm going to bring out the other celebrity birthdays. Uh, all four featured babes and hunks of the day for today are all birthday people. Just like all you other friends out there that I said happy birthday to. Pretty cool. I look who you're linked with. Jay Leno. I mean, come on. Um, Violent J. Oh, Insane Clown Posse. That's right. Violent J. And he was also wrestling for a bit, too. Violent J is 43 years old today. Bridget Moynihan. 45 men alive. And before Giselle Bunchen, Tom Brady was plowing her. Yeah, that's uh, Tom Brady's ex-girlfriend, Bridget Moynihan. She's 45 men alive and uh, still wicked fine. Uh, Oscar Schindler. Now, folks, listen to this one. This guy, was Oscar Schindler, was born in the state in 1908, passed away in 1974. Now, I know he was part of the Nazi party. I get that. But did you know that he saved 1,200 Jewish people? He sure did. Oscar Schindler, that's where the movie Schindler's List came from. Because although he belonged to the Nazi party, he definitely did not believe in killing Jewish people. So, good on you. And he was the only person to um, be honored in uh, Israel or something like that. The only member of the Nazi party to be welcome to Israel. Something, something along those lines. Pretty impressive. Uh, Ferruccio Lamborghini. There's a good Italian name for you. Of course, the... Uh, Inventor of the Lamborghini. Born in 1916, passed away in 1993. Ferruccio Lamborghini. What a name, what a guy. Blake Bortles, quarterback, Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars, not Jaguars, folks. It's Jaguars. J-A-G-U-A-R-S. Blake Bortles, he is 23 years old today. And I believe that is it for the birthdays. Oh, 
Shame on me. I neglected a shout out till now. Folks, we just hit the 1,850 like barrier. We got 1,850 1, followers on the Baron Song of the Day Facebook page. And who is number 1850? My good friend, Kenny Satterfield. Kenny Satterfield, badass croup dog that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico, pretty much the same damn country. Kenny Satterfield, aw, oh, I'm tiny little Jay Little. Aw, oh, shucks. Kenny, dude, 1850. Thank you so much for your support. You support like a double D bra. Underwire. That support. Awesome working with a legend like you. And hey, for being number 1850, I give you the love back to salute. Oh, hell yeah. Damn right. Aw, oh, yeah. So there you have it. Ooh. Damn. We got more pictures of Jay Leno. I, I didn't put a whole lot of pictures. Remember that? That's right. Cool Ranch Doritos, baby. You know, I used to eat a bag of those in high school every day. I'm not shitting you. I would bring a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos to class every single day. And I know friends of mine that graduated that uh, were in class with me at Martha's Vineyard Regional High School will remember that. At least I hope you do. Because Lord knows I was there. I was in there like a thong and a fat chick. Look at these automobiles. I had to show off a few more pictures of Jay Leno. Yeah, he owns that. 1966 Chrysler Imperial, the Green Hornet car. Yep, he sure does. Oh, look at that. Good God. Ah, the Baker Electric car. The Baker Electric. Hey, great last name right there. Great name for a car. Baker. Hmm, imagine that. Let's drink. Mmm. All right. Time to bring out that baby of the day. Time to bring out some music, huh? Because this baby of the day... It's hot, real hot, damn hot, wicked hot, and smoking hot. Yeah. Now, kids, block your eyes. Sensitive adults, block your eyes. Because she's not afraid to show her puppies. At least she's shown them in the past. We're going to bring out, I love this song, especially if you're from Boston, Massachusetts, or you're a Boston sports fan, this song is for you. I love, this song is epic. A version of um, Devil Went Down to Georgia. This one's much better. The <laughs> Devil Came Up to Boston. The Adam Ezra group. Just listen to this and drool over the eye candy, will you? Because this is truly <clears throat> wicked awesome. And so is that. Penelope Cruz and Monica Cruz, her sister, together, topless on the beach. But don't worry. It's all about Penelope Cruz, folks. Yup. Wow. Whoa. Hell yeah! Yeah! Now, Jessica Dickinson, I know you like both kinds of music, country and western. So why not a little bit of country western music? With some badass mass hole attitude. At the Copley Tea, he saw kids on on a fiddle and smoking a pot. The devil jumped up on a globe dispenser and said, Dude, let me tell you what. I bet you didn't know it, kid, but I can fucking strum. You may Oops. think you're all hot shit, but you're just a fucking bum. I've walked all the hot spots from the garden to the wang. I bet a lot of cotton in a pack of mobs that you can't fucking hang. Damn right. He said, My name's Sully, and you're a stupid fuck. But if you want to party, I'm game in a back. Sully, rosin up your bow and play your fiddle hot. Shit's going down in Boston and the devil deals with the gods. And you could win a lot of pride and pack of bottles. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. The devil opened up his case and said, I'll fucking start. Fire shot from his fingertips. Damn, that shit was hot. Reach across the strings, it got the subway cops all pissed. When the Dropkick Murphys showed up and it sounded something like this. Dropkick Murphys! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, Cleavage, French for Cleavage. Here's the Irish folks, hell yeah! Penelope Cruz. Sully said, good job, but I hear that shit like every hour. I'm going to rip it up now. Then you could take a fucking shower. Yeah. Oil now, watch out, Sarah. We're going to see us in Boston. 
Oh my god. Hot stuff. Hot music. Hot damn. And I'm gonna eat like a king later too. Life is truly wicked awesome, my friends. Yeah. Lung Slayer? Why not? Hey, y'all might be a redneck if you hold down and wife hits the floor, just saying. Oh my god! The devil shouted pissa, cause he knew he'd just pissa. been tossed. He started chugging vodka to soften up the loss. Yeah! So the devil, come on back if you ever want to press your luck. I told Top you once you on, you're a wicked stupid fuck. <laughs> yeah! Wicked stupid! Beep! Oh yeah! What a song, what a song. Let's drink to that, folks. Mm. You ain't never heard country music that awesome before, have you? Hell no, you haven't. Well, Dave Allen Coe's not too bad, though. A little racist sometimes, but he's pretty crazy. But anyway, let's get to our next hunk of the day. Let's talk about this day in history. I think you're going to enjoy it, and we shall see. Hey, this wrestler... Alex Riley. Who wins my wrestling fans at? Look at that. He's a walking muscle with a head. Hell yeah. Alex Riley. This guy is, um, I lost his birthday. What the hell? Didn't I write him down? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong date. What a schlepper. Oh, of course he was born in 1981. Duh. He's 34 years old today. Wrestler Alex Riley. Yeah. He's a manimal. He's a man beast. He's vicious. Hey, on this day in 2001, Dennis Tito becomes the first ever um, space tourist. This dude paid $20 million to fly on a Soyuz mission to the International Space Station. How about that? On this day, April 28, 1993. Now, I talked to a friend of mine last night who was born. On that day, April 28th in the year of our Lord, 1993. And on that day, um, the New York Islanders beat the Washington Capitals 4-1 to one in the playoffs. Four games to one in the playoffs. Now, Capitals um, player Dale Hunter attacks Pierre Turgeon after scoring. It was hockey, one of hockey's worst cheap shots of all time. Folks, that was just... a such a disgraceful move. But you know what? Ironically, Dale Hunter is the ca is the uh, coach of the Washington Capitals. He sure is. And, of course, they, they made up. You know, they, they became friends again. And, you know, it was just such a heinous act at the time. But, wow. I, I was actually, I actually watched that game and I remember it vividly. And that was the kind of the theme for the 1993 NHL playoffs. Which my Bruins didn't even come close to winning anyway. I don't even think they were in it. On this day in 1992, Milwaukee Brewers beat the Toronto Blue Jays 22-2. I remember I actually watched this game. America League record, 31 base hits in nine innings. You talk about an ass whooping. You ain't lying. It whoop your ass. On this day in 1990, hey, my Boston Celtics scored the most points ever in a playoff game. They beat the New York Knicks 157-128. Don't worry, they didn't win the title. Those stupid inbred freaking Detroit Pistons did. Ugh. On this day in 1988, the Baltimore Orioles lose an American League record 21 games in a row. And folks, that record still stands. Speaking of Baltimore losing, all right, I'll bite my tongue. Ugh. Enough of that shit. On this day in 1980, Reunion Arena in Dallas, Yeehaw, Texas opens. On this day, 1971, Samuel Lee Gravely Jr. becomes the first black admiral in the U.S. Navy. Awesome stuff right there. Another great um, achievement for civil rights. Thank God for that. On this day, 1967, Muhammad Ali refuses induction into the Army. He is stripped of his heavyweight boxing title. Aw, oh, abs like that. On this day, 1966, 20th NBA Championship. My beloved Boston Celtics won the eighth title in a row. And they beat the Los Angeles Lakers four games to three. Go ahead, take that, Lakers, and shove it up your ass, you pricks. Hate the Lakers. I'm a Celtics fan. It's a requirement by law to hate them. 
That record still stands for the most championships won in a row. On day 1965, 50 years ago today, Lindsey Nelson broadcasts a game at the Astrodome from a hanging gondola. Right in the middle of the Astrodome, hanging down. Baseball game. Hey, that was the first year at the Astrodome. So it's pretty impressive. On day 1947, I've actually read the book. Phenomenal story. Thor Heyerdahl and the raft, the Contiki, sailed from Peru to Polynesia. Yeah. Stayed on a raft for months, and he wrote about it. Incredible story. On this day in 1937, first animated cartoon electric sign displayed in New York City. Also on this day in 1937, first commercial flight across the Pacific, Pan Am Airlines. On this day in 1934, Franklin D. Roosevelt signs the Homeowners Loan Act. Awesome stuff. Also on this day in 1935, uh, Detroit Tigers' Goose Gosselin. Talk about a shitty day here. Grounds into four straight double plays. That's a bad day at the bat. Oh, that's a bad day for the guy on Alex Riley's shoulders, too. On this day, 1932, first broadcast of One Man's Family on NBC Radio. On this day, 1930, first night organized baseball game, Independence, Yeehaw, Kansas. On this day, 1922, WOIAM Radio, Ames, Iowa. The country's first licensed educational radio station. Awesome stuff. On this day in 1914, W.H. Carrier uh, patents, something we can all appreciate, especially down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico, the air conditioner. Air conditioning was patented on this day. W.H. Carrier, you deserve a love doctor salute. Thank God for him. On this day in 1910, first night air flight, Claude Graham White, jolly old England. On this day... In 1855, first veterinary college in the United States is incorporated. We're at Boston, Massachusetts, the greatest city in the world. And um, finally on this day in 1788, Maryland, although we're not hearing about it on the news because all we're hearing about is Baltimore, but did you know that Maryland on this day in 1788 became, became the seventh state in the United States of America? Happy Independence Day, Maryland! Now go fix your damn state because my God is depressing. Let's pray for those innocent victims in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm. Finally, let's bring out some humor. Final song of the day. Let's bring out a hottie. Final baby of the day. She was born the exact same month day, and year as Alex Riley. And you know her. You love her. I do too. Jessica Alba. Good God, I think I saved the best for last, folks. And this song is a uh, parody song by Bob Rivers. He is a riot. The, co the song is called The Girl with Emphysema. The Girl with Emphysema. The Girl with Emphysema keeps smoking. And when wow. she passes, she flicks her ass. A parody, of course, of The Girl from Emphysema. <laughs> We're Stan Gesson and Stroy Cabarito. She she's like the chimney that shoots up clouds and smells so nasty that when she passes, <laughs> She passes gas and goes. <coughs> Look out, kids. These are real pictures. I did a oh, lot of reading last night. Jessica Alba. See through nerves. Coughing up big chunky lungs. Yeah, Jessica Alba. She would She's smoking, all right. Bloody. Smoking hot. Good God. But each day when she has to go pee, she sits on the can and lights three. Jeez. Short and fair and thin and sickly, the girl oh with emphysema goes smoking. And when 34. she passes, she smiles Today. with big yellow Just got teeth. Alba. I've been drooling over you since you were 20 years old. Oh, listen to that saxophone. It ain't Stan Getz, but it ain't bad either. Great parody song. Bob Rivers, really impressive. <laughs> oh, but the room is so smoky. How can she tell where she's going? Hell, I don't know. Yeah, she yeah, will so. keep them up gladly. Yeah, she's smoking hot. But when she has to go pee, again, old clay bye. And there's a 
a great song. Just go out there and hug each other right now and enjoy life. And then she flashes that smile with big That's flashing a smile, all right. Nice assets, too, I might add. She just cannot breathe. It's only a wheeze. That's a wheeze. Can I have a light, please? I know what you're saying. It's not nice to make fun of emphysema. I get that. But it's all in good fun, folks. It's all in good fun. Oh, my God. I thought my wifey was uh, at the door. Because I think dinner's ready. Uh-oh. It's after 6 o'clock. You know the magic time for dinner is 6. 6 p.m. sharp. Dinner served every single night at Casa de Love Goddess, a.k.a. Farrah's house. I just live here. She's the queen. Delilah, you're the little princess, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And therefore, by default, I'm the king. <laughs> and it's good to be the king. And by the way, that's the real picture. Her in bra and panties. The, um, her appearing naked was actually um, CGI film graphics. Oh, I like that, though. I do. I do. Oh, I woo. I woo. I, I drink to you. Jessica Alba. And hey, to all my friends out there, you know what time it is, right? Ugh. Time to finish off the last few pictures. <whistles> and slam the rest of this here, Bear. Mm hmm. After the brand sells of an average Los Angeles Lakers fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Time right, I'm Dr. B. Folks, time to make a feed as I head out. So, everybody take care. Wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. My spirit drink. All you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumb to being a Yanks fan. What's dumb to that? And it's written for, for puke and goober schnitzel like Eli. Eh, I'm a kid, Tom Brady. Yeah, but you, your brother Peyton, and your dad Archie aren't even as good as Tom Brady. Because you don't even have as many rings. Jackass! Manning! Or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people watch on bets, or fake friends, or anybody that sports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church, or ISIS, things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat GF, GF, Y. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see you all tomorrow with a lot shorter show. Talk to you later. It's dinner time. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.